exchanging criticisms with Vice President Lenny Robredo all of last week. Presidential daughter Sara Duterte Carpio's guns have suddenly gone silent. The Davao mayor says she is packing it all up at the behest of her dismayed mother. Mian Los Baños tells us why. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio had some choice words for Vice President Lenny Robredo this weekend. The mayor said Robredo doesn't have the moral high ground to talk about honesty and integrity. After all, Duterte Carpio said the vice president's win in the 2016 elections is questionable because of alleged anomalies. She called Robredo a fake VP showing fake courage. Sinabi ko lang naman na ang daming questions about her integrity and honesty. And um, ang sinabi ko doon, tatlo lang yun sa madami. Inenumerate ko doon na bakit siya tinatawag ng mga tao na fake VP. Number one, her character. Number two, there is an electoral protest based on massive fraud against her. O, yan lang naman yung nilabas ko, tatlo lang. Huwag na natin idagdag yung iba. Sa susunod na, pag sumagot pa siya, labas natin yung mga 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Robredo refused to counter the Terte Carpio's verbal assaults. Ito yung sa akin kasi, pagpasensya. Pero ayoko na kasi, ay, ayokong pumasok sa isang usapan na una, dala ng init ng ulo, pangalawa, may insultuhan. Pangatlo, parang masama, masama yung pananalita kasi wala naman tayo mapapalat siya. Ayaw yung sa akin lang, yung, kung may mga issue, um, sagutin. Duterte Carpio said if Rebredo believes only people with integrity can run for office, then she should not dream of running for president. Robredo retorted that it is Duterte Carpio who has presidential ambitions. She added that it's too early to talk about the presidency. Sobrang layo pa. Kung, kung babalikan natin yung, yung kasaysayan natin in the recent past, alam natin na in a year, ang dami pwede mangyari. Um, ito, three years away pa, may, may isa pang eleksyon na pagdadaanan bago ng 2022. Kaya eh, para sa akin, eh, hindi pa ito panahon. Ang daming kailangan pagtuunan ng pansin. But after the series of tirades against her bredo, Duterte Carpio suddenly called a unilateral ceasefire. She said it was upon the advice of her mother, Elizabeth Zimmerman. Kanina umaga, nakatanggap ako ng phone call galing sa nanay ko na nasa Davao City. At uh, sinabi niya na no, wag daw ako makipag-away at uh, wag daw ibuli ang mga opposition sa administration ni President Duterte. Hugpong ng pagbabago candidates agree with their manager's decision. Well, I hope that we can take it on another level. No? Kasi mudslinging, petty issues, parang hindi ba, ano eh, senado po itong senado po itong ating uh, pinaglalaban. No? Ako, mas pipiliin ko po na maayos na kampanya at malinis. Walang siraan. Ocho Derecho bets meanwhile accused Duterte Carpio of Grand standing for the 2022 elections. Despite her previous statements that she is not running for the presidency, she is often introduced in rallies as the country's next president. Reporting for News 5, Mean Los Baños, We Are One News.